Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm going to show you this gorgeous four bedroom house which has this amazing rendered facade cladding and a lot of nice details on the outside. All the details of this house are going to be in the description but all the visual stuff is in the video so stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. Let's go and look inside. Welcome home. Come inside. Right, so we are in our walkway, our entryway, whatever you want to call it. This is the first room and the first space that you're going to see when you come into your property. What are the first things you're going to notice? You're going to notice this beautifully sized, I would say that's quite generous for a front door. You've got your wide format front door as well with a nice view viewing panel there post box there and two viewing panels either side which floods this space with lots of natural light the first room actually before we leave the space let's talk about the space properly before i go dancing so i really like this flooring it looks like it could be something like antico because it's in planks but it's not real wood um it's going to be some kind of composite material you've got what appears to me to be taller than your usual floor to ceiling heights it looks just slightly above our standard ceiling heights you've got this gorgeous chandelier here and over there as well and we'll go down there in a second but before we do let's go into the first room so as we're walking to the first room i noticed the architraves are these kind of very nice kind of contemporary profile with like a little bit of a bevel inside i think it is a shadow gap actually yes it is a shadow gap with a gloss finish to it as well. And then the doors are white gloss doors with this paneling here as well and chrome handles as well, brushed chrome handles. Coming into the first room, you're gonna be in your formal lounge. You've got a window face in the front of the property bringing lots of natural light. It's a casement window with two opening lights. You've got a nicely spaced lounge. It's more of a rectangular shape. And then it's got another aspect it's facing the back garden. So that's a dual aspect room, which is two boxes ticked. And I love that. And it's so quiet in here as well, guys. So it's not a busy area at all. It's a very nice kind of a vibe to this feeling. Um, again, this is a really nice proportioned room. If we come back into the, um, the corridor, let's go into the other room on the other side as well. So this room is the really nicely sized, um, uh, well, it's another formal lounge. It's staged as a formal lounge, but I think it could actually be like an office or a studio or a downstairs bedroom because guys, I'm all for one for accessible bedrooms, which make a property what's known as a lifetime home, a home that as you get older, you can grow with the home. Anybody with accessibility challenges can stay here and it makes a nice guest bedroom so yeah imagine this being a sofa bed it could be a spare room or again it could be an office or work from home space or lounge they've got this really cool interior design finish they've got these cool interior design finishes to this space with these uh, floor to ceiling um, curtains as well which I really like and then a square bay window facing the front of your property and the main street as well so that's basically it for this room and before I leave I just want to touch on the type of profile I mentioned the the architraves earlier but we've also got this really cool skirting detail to the whole of the property so coming back into this space we're now going to go into the rest of the house so as you're entering the house you're going to find two doors and obviously your main space ahead this one is under stair storage and it's super generous so generous guys i can actually squeeze under here nice and accessible it's quite tall actually i'm five foot one so tall is subjective and it's got a light as well which is a bonus and then this i believe is going to be our downstairs toilet so let's take a look um, let's not get bamboozled by the interior design which is quite groovy we've got a nice little um, radiator there a sink not it's not too big of a sink but you know they tend to have the smaller sinks in the downstairs toilets a nice little uh, splash back there and a regular toilet there um, it's a nice space, it's very wheelchair accessible and then you've got vinyl flooring to the floor with like a simple brushed kind of chrome threshold between the two different materials and a light fixture on the top. Coming back into the hallway, let's now go into the space we've been waiting for. So this is our dining area. So essentially, 
uh, dining areas over there we've got this uh, a door coming from the uh, living room actually that had the dual aspect that I spoke about earlier and then behind me we've got a kitchen and a utility on that side so if you just pop around I'll go through the whole kitchen together so this kitchen I would give a five out of five for in terms of a new build house in terms of what I'm seeing the space and how everything is accessible there's this rule about um, with kitchens you want things to be very very accessible you want your sink your cooker and your oven to be in a triangle so you can easily move food around and prep and it ticks those boxes so let's go through the kitchen we've got a shaker style kitchen cabinet in a very very beautiful kind of mauve kind of um color it's it's um kind of like a gray with a hint of a warmth to it as well and then if you notice the casework inside our uh, it, well the carcass of the cabinet is also colored gray so that is something that is um enhanced from your usual kind of standard kitchen fixtures you've got storage there you've got your chrome um sockets as well which is fantastic that may be an upgrade with the developer you've got a, a what looks like it's a style stone worktop it's quite thick as well so it's good quality material very durable and then you've got style stone upstands which protects the uh, walls somewhat and then you've got this back back painted splashback and what I love is the fact that you've got a gas hob and we've got one two three four five six a giant hob here for a walk which is just this is not what you're going to see in your standard new build property this is definitely um a kind of an not an upgrade but uh, it's lifted above your standard spec of most new builds it's by AEG which is a reputable brand and then instead of putting the oven here and then you having to bend down to get your turkey we've put the oven on here and these are the integrated ovens um, you've got two here so obviously one of them is probably going to be an oven and the other one might be a uh, microwave or a steam oven and they're both by AEG and they're fully integrated with storage space I've all the way you've got your fridge freezer more storage space even more storage space that's fantastic and then yeah just loads of storage guys and then you've got your kitchen and then this instead of it being your um, your oven that you have to bend down and break your back into is your cutlery drawer which is great for you know I'm stirring I'm cooking um, and just great storage we've got storage here under sink storage that's where your stop clock is looks like this is your dishwasher and then you've still got more storage so this is what I mean about this space being very well planned out I love the fact that there's a window in front of the the sink as well which means when you're washing up you aren't facing a brick wall you actually can look out at the kids the family as they're playing and then let's see where the washing machine is going to be guys oh yes you've got a utility as a bonus and this utility has external access which is even better so when you're coming back with your groceries you bring them through this door you put them away you can take your washing straight outside to the back garden you've probably got yeah i thought so a boiler an ideal logic heat 18 boiler and then you've got additional storage in the same finish that you had in the kitchen and then you've got your consumer unit where your fuse board and everything is in there and then obviously this isn't integrated but it's a zanussi um it looks like it's a dryer actually and then maybe one of these would be your washing machine so guys they've not got a combi unit you've not been shortchanged they've actually given you a separate aeg washing machine and a dryer which is always always better than having a combination unit and then you've got your sink by range Mas master as well um it's a very usable and very practical utility a few details to mention before i leave the kitchen just spotted these um kind of uh i was going to say down lighters under the uh, cabinets and then you've got these little led spotlights here as well underneath which is nice most likely going to be an upgrade but just bear that in mind and then you've got the same floor we had downstairs um throughout the whole um the same flooring we had uh, throughout the whole floor is in here and it continues all the way across and then before I leave sorry again we've got our double doors leading to our nicely proportioned garden as you can just see there uh, French doors just opening outwards lovely so that pretty much is the downstairs space so let's go on to the first floor 
So let's go upstairs. As we're going up these carpeted treads, you've got your wooden balustrade as well. Nice little space for gallery uh, photo wall. And you're on the first floor landing. Should have counted the number of steps to the top um, because they can be quite a lot if you have um, taller than your standard ceiling height, but it wasn't too bad. Um, so here you can see you're in the landing space. I like the vibe of this space. Number one, it's got a window facing the street and it's quite open and it's a nice kind of size and proportion that connects all the rooms because sometimes you do get this corridor vibe and it doesn't give you that. So first room we're going to try, we're going to go this way into the first bedroom here, which is a double bedroom. I'm not going to call it a king size bedroom. Um, it probably could fit a king bed, but as you can see, it's nice and sizable, but it fits a double. And then on top of that, you've actually got a fitted wardrobe area here. And I love the way they've continue the decor into there, painted that, and even staged the inside of the fitted wardrobe. So well done, Saint Modwins. You've got your sockets um, there as well, another socket there. So you've got it, they've considered the bedside tables, and then you've got a window looking at your back garden over there. Beautiful. So, uh, oh, actually, before I forget, there's also a TV point here, which may be an upgrade, but just bear in mind, you'd have a corner TV system there. And then that's basically that room. Coming back into the corridor, we've got a door here in the middle. And I'm wondering what that door... Oh, okay, so this has got our hot water cylinder, which makes me think maybe we've got thermostatic showers in here. Most likely we do, which is always preferred compared to electric because it uses central heating and it won't have that really annoying noise that you get electric heaters make. You've got your, what appears to me to be a family bath here. So coming into the space, you've got a towel rail there off the central heating. You've got your enclosed shower in there with your um, handheld device and uh, uh, the whole um, shower cubicle is in a shower tray, which is lovely. You've got your sink there, a window bringing in lots of natural light and ventilation, a toilet there. It's not hidden and it is a standard toilet but that's fine and then you've got your rocker bathtub there as well so essentially this is a four-piece suite you've got your shower one sink toilet and bathtub and then it's been beautifully staged there's a little shelf above the bathtub there where you've got plants and products and that is your family bath coming into the next room you've got another double bedroom in this double bedroom you've got a window facing but there doesn't seem to be space for a um a wardrobe which makes me think this room might actually be a single bedroom in which case it's been staged as a double but really you'd end up putting a single bed or a twin and then fit in a wardrobe next to it or a chest of drawers because as it's done right now except you have storage under the bed i can't really see where you'd put like a double wardrobe Coming out of this space into this corridor space again, I'll just let you catch up with me. We're going towards the window at the front. We've got these two beautiful rooms. So the first one is this one. Um, so this is definitely going to be a king size bedroom, maybe even a super king. You've got a large window at the front with three opening lights, two side panes and one at the top. It's so peaceful looking over the front of the property. We've got also we've got also the double bed here which could be upgraded to a super king if you wanted like i said earlier space for two bedsides you've got sockets either side a mystery door there and then a door here which closes off your closet so you could obviously close this off so this is quite nice for a uk property it's a proper walk-in wardrobe which you can probably upgrade the fitting so it could you know have all those really nice ikea upgrades with the sliding folding uh, gizmos and everything um you've got like i said the really beautiful chrome uh, light fittings and this door takes you to the ensuite it's got a window there, which means you get um, natural ventilation, so it won't get too steamy in here, even though there is a vent as well. There's recess spotlights, a shaver socket on that wall, 
and then you've got a sink by Fitra, which probably means the other sinks are by the same brand, toilet and a shower. It does the job. It's a great size shower for a nice little ensuite. It's fully tile floor to ceiling, vinyl flooring, carpeting throughout this main space. And then that is what is one of the contestants for a primary room. And I think it might actually be the primary room. Then you've got a little nook here where they've staged with a desk. You can obviously have like a bean bag. If anyone uses bean, bean bags nowadays, do people still use those? Have a little area here, kids play area, whatever, facing the front of the property. And then the final room in this property is this really nicely sized double bedroom. Now this, I would put a king size bed in. And by the way, just letting you know, guys, I can tell the developer hasn't done the usual trick by using tiny, small double beds, like those really, really small, stingy double beds. This is a proper double bed with a proper headboard. So you can see the size and yes, you know, you can make it even bigger, do a super king if you wanted to, if you were inclined to do that, but a double would definitely fit in comfortably in here. That's quite cute wallpaper and staging there. Um, you've got your socket on that wall, so you could probably put like a study desk over there in the corner and our wardrobe in that corner. And then obviously you've got your window facing the front of the property. So guys, I think that is probably it for this property. I've really enjoyed touring it. And if you have too, like this video, leave us a comment on what you liked the most about this property or what you would have wanted to see in more detail. And yes, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.